to find no difficulty in getting the right word. No, not merely the right word, the telling word that left you gasping. In 1944, the Winchester Diocesan Clergy School asked her to address them at Oxford. This war is the passion, had not long been published and had touched a nerve in wartime England, deeply aware of the truths that are eternal, but sensitive to atmosphere and very much a woman of her century, she was able to speak of those truths in the idiom of her own generation. It is the week of prayer, runs a letter from Sydney, Australia, for the unity of all Christian people. In our university, there is so little understanding between the different religious Christian bodies. Impoverished by the constant discussions, by the fantastically popular Billy Graham crusade with its emphasis on numbers, I came home feeling I had lost sight of the Christ I loved and of the love of the Father. The writer of this letter took up and read aloud to herself Carol Hauslander's Flowering Tree. Feeling blessed by this reading, she had written to a friend, a missionary in Papua, telling her of the book, only to find that it is one of her treasured possessions. We are neither of us Roman Catholics, but we both know ourselves to be at one with you. I thought you might like to know that God is able to go on finding people in far parts of the world through your insights shared. After every one of her books, such letters arrived, from a student for the priesthood in Denmark, from a professor's wife in Indiana, from Europe, Asia, Africa, the Americas, especially from the United States. And her sales were enormous. We published works on spirituality by other writers, Dom John Chapman, Father Stewart, Archbishop Gutierre, Father Lean. This lay woman outsold them all. Her books sold like novels, but to people craving for reality, not fiction.